Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first, flying out of the blue corner, presenting the former UFC featherweight champion of the world and the former UFC lightweight champion of the world, the notorious Connor. And now, you see his opponent fighting out of the red corner. Mike Tyson! You ready to fight? You ready? Do it. All right, so here he is, formerly the baddest man on the planet, former boxing heavyweight champion, Iron Mike Tyson. Looks for him to move forward. You know the flurries are coming. He'll employ that signature peekaboo style as he tries to get inside. Takedown defense could be tested. I mean, that's what opponents are going to be looking to do. They're going to try to take Mike Tyson down. Easier said than done. Don't blink or you'll miss this one. Early round action here. Captain Hook lands on the kickboxer. Beautifully timed in place there. And a strong way to start on the feet. Kickboxers love the high guard. The way to fight the high guard is to throw things around the side. That hook is a very good shot that can land against a guy with that tight high guard. Fight behind a nice jab. Oh, that's a big connection there from McGregor, DC. I mean, big strike landed for Ireland's favorite son, Conor McGregor. Right hand and a left. Fast pace here in the early going. That one stuck in. Nice strike. Well, few fighters manage distance as efficiently and as well as Conor McGregor, and there's that left hand finding its home early. Oh, he does a great job of setting you up, man. You saw it in the Jose Aldo fight. The guy will just step back a little bit and bang, drops the straight left on you that can end your night. He not only throws this fast, he also is so accurate, and that allows him to finish so many fights. Oh, is he a good counter striker? Counters beautifully with the left hand. Nice punch there by Tyson. Well, he has stayed busy and he has stayed accurate. Nice combination. Very accurate, a lot of activity in the hands look phenomenal. Oh, beautiful knees in the clinch here. That's good defense to block that punch. We have crossed the midpoint here in our opening round. Oh, what a connection by him there. His opponent could be out of here soon, DC. He's almost done. I mean, when you get hit with a shot like that, you don't know whether to run, hide, grab, or wrestle. He's a, he, I mean, he's confused. He's as confused as he was on his first test. Now, both fighters hanging down in the pocket and both landing. Man, look at that jab right there. If he doesn't make some adjustments, Bobby's not going to recognize him. His nose is getting all swollen. I mean, he's getting better. He's taking him right on the face, too. He's trying to play catch up. He's not moving his head in advance of the jab coming. This boxer is way too good to try to react to the shots opposed to get the head of him. Nice land there by Conor McGregor. You know, DC, he's got a great frame for the... Oh, he's hurt. He's wobbling. Under two minutes to go in a back-and-forth first round here. Tyson gets caught with that punch. Not the easiest guy in the world to hit, but he got caught there. Big shot to the head. He's got to start kicking. Kicking the body, kicking the head. He's just got to start kicking. Misses with the right hand. Starting to do some really significant... And just inches away from landing one of those big right hands. Big power shot there. Nice head movement to slip the left hand. Rips the body there for good measure.
I give one, I take one. You give one. Huge shot finds the target there. Great shot lands. Now he's got to go find that follow-up attempt. The kill shot is what they call it to go and end the fight. 30 seconds now to go in the opening round. Nice punch to the head. Oh, he lands another strike to the body, really starting to connect on a lot of shots. Oh, you got to start to look to finish him now. Landed a good uppercut there. Oh, the jab followed by the right hand. Man, has his chin been tested early. All right, no Telestrator for DC tonight, but we'll get you some replays. And if you like face punching, that was a good round. Yeah, where's my Telestrator, man? <laughs> I want to draw this action. But yeah, John, you're right. It was the striking. It was the punches that really did allow him to take control of this round. Ready to fight. Ready. Second round on the way. All right, so as this next round gets underway, hopefully the good action we saw in the last round will continue. Both fighters certainly had their ups and downs, both got the offense going, but now we'll see if one fighter or the other can really take control of what has been a very close fight thus far. Big right hook coming, it's blocked. Effective punch there by Tyson. Oh, how did he eat that uppercut? Over and over, this guy's getting hit right in his face. Well, as we pull up the numbers there, bottom of your screen, the body strikes really tell the story in this one. That was a big focus for his camp coming in, and he has certainly worked that midsection to great effect here tonight. Lands a quick jab. Man, that Conor McGregor left hand is just an absolute piston. Big strike lands. Big strike lands. Now he needs to try to chase down that finish. And just misses with that big right hand. Oh, back and forth to go. And able to avoid the punch there. Nice slip by Tyson. Oh, nice slip there. It sounds simple, right? Hit and don't get hit. But this guy's defense has been sharp too. Cat and mouse. You got to play cat and mouse. Hit, don't get hit. He does a great job of that. Oh, nice hook by Tyson. Man, that is loud. Another strike lands for the kickboxer. He really found that flow state pretty early in this fight, and he hasn't looked back. He found it really early. And when this guy gets into his groove, he is hell on wheels. And right now he is showing why he is such a high-level, high-regarded kickboxer. He is outclassing this guy. Nice job by Conor McGregor on the feet. You got to think his longtime chief corner, John Kavanaugh, likes what he is seeing out of his pupil early tonight. Big left. Well, he was a little bit lackluster in round one. You can't say the same here in this second round. He has really picked up the pace, an uptick in the aggression and the output, and starting to find his range here in the pocket. Well, the left hook has been there at times, not that time. And doing work with the jab. Two minutes to go. Different round in the striking clinic continues. Shades of Max Holloway back in the day against Calvin Cater. Every strike he has thrown seemingly is finding the target. I mean, it's, it's landing. Everything is landing, J.A. And coming into this fight, he understood that he had an advantage in this particular skill. I don't know if he could have even expected it to be this vast as we have seen to this point in the fight. He needs to get on his bicycle, John. He needs to get into space so that he doesn't get finished. Let's go. Beautiful 
leg kick lands. Wow, he lands another leg kick. Both fighters exchange in the pocket here. Well, DC, headgear's not allowed, but he has raised the hands, and he's doing a nice job protecting the dome. He's doing a great job of blocking his head. A lot of times, those shots to the head will knock you out. Not this time. This guy's making sure nothing lands. Oh, that's a good strike there by Tyson. Seconds to go in round two. Oh, you gotta like the output here. So aggressive with the strikes, he continues to light him up. You gotta be careful here not to gas out, of course, but you gotta like the offense we're seeing from him, especially in this round. Final seconds here. Let's check out some of the action, DC. What a display of just sheer punching in that last round. I mean, he looks like a boxer. He looks like a professional boxer out there throwing and stringing those combinations together. He landed those big punches over and over again, and it was this one right here that really did change the tide of the round. You ready to fight? Ready. Third round underway. All right, so another round is now underway. Pretty good action over the previous 10 minutes. Your thoughts on what we might see here? Both of the guys really picking up on the action, putting their foot on the gas, and really starting to drive it home as we approach the end of the fight. And we're still so evenly matched, and the fight has been so close to this point. Well, most fighters can't keep up this type of aggression and pace, but you don't have to worry about it. Picture perfect shot there, DC, and one more of those, he might be out. I mean, the fight is going to be over. I can't believe he's still standing. That shot landed perfect. He traded huge shots. Let's see who's going to be the last man standing. That one was thrown to end the fight. Yep. <laughs> Ball, big right hook, but a whiff. Swing and a miss with that straight left hand. All right, so we'll see what sort of defensive response ensues here. He's taken a lot of shots upstairs, and the swelling is there to prove it. Got to keep those hands up. He might want to employ a high guard to try to ensure that the guy's not landing on those spots because the swelling's starting now, and it's light. But if he takes many more of these types of shots, it's going to get real bad. Just that. Shot right there, DC. You don't want to eat too many more of those. No, and he needs to start looking to finish now because he's got his opponent hurt very bad. Nice jab by McGregor. Just over three minutes to go in our third and final round. Oh, he's wobbling now. Uppercut. Well, it's late in the fight. Time is of the essence. Oh! McGregor's attempt there is blocked by the opponent. Well, no surprise to see him rinse and repeat as he continues to target that swelling upstairs. Targeting that swollen eye, getting back after him, making him work, and recognizing that, hey, this is my path. It's working. I'm going to stay on it. Nice slip to avoid the left. Unable to connect this. 
All right, so perhaps he's going to have to address something defensively. There is a legitimate cut around his eye. Yeah, he got cut on the eye from that last strike. He's got to pay attention now before it gets worse. Oh, head kick attempt. Head movement prevents it from landing. High-level MMA defense there, able to avoid the punch. Nice job by Tyson. These boys are standing right in front of each other, just kind of going at it. His opponent in a lot of trouble now. That was Cain Velasquez's punch of choice. Every time he lands that overhand right, he hurts people bad. And this guy has his opponent hurt very badly again. Well, he is really starting to apply a lot of pressure here down the stretch. Not as much offense earlier in the fight. He is making up for lost time now. Well, no denying that he rocked him, but couldn't quite get the finish. He hurt him real bad, but he couldn't find the shot that would put him to sleep. He threw a lot of punches, but he couldn't get the one to land on the button that would end the night. Well, that overhand big weapon for him throughout his career, it's been there all night. Good for him to go back to it here. Tyson gets hit with a flush uppercut there. Pretty good connection there, yeah. Well, he is clearly faded in this one, and I'm not talking about the high and tight skin fade on my man Daniel Ooh. Cormier. He got stunned earlier in the round, and, and mentally I feel like he checked out a little bit. He hasn't been able to build back. Oh, a few strike lands there, and somehow his opponent's chin held up. His opponent's chin held up, but you do not want to be right, on go. the receiving end of those types of strikes. He's able to skip the left there. 20 seconds to go in the fight. So a lot to like over the distance of that fight tonight. Clearly, we think we saw one guy win the fight, and largely got it done with the striking. Yeah, he got it done with the striking. And that's exactly what he's known for. He's known as a guy that's so comfortable whenever he's in the stand-up. And that showed tonight as he truly outworked his opponent. The official decision is in. It resides with Bruce Buffett. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. All three judges score this contest 30-27, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Iron Mike Tyson! Well, who would have thought that the former boxing champion Iron Mike Tyson would become a bona fide UFC contender? This win tonight is certainly a step in the right direction. He had a lot of